Hi there, I'm Bhavish and in this video we're going to look at a simple way to create a physical file. So this is going to be a very beginner friendly lesson on physical files and how to create a physical file. So we have already spoken about PAF and LF before but we'll just go over through it once again. So what is a physical file? So a physical file is nothing but a SQL table in other systems so on an oracle database system or on a microsoft sql server when you have an sql table of rows and columns or a relational database that is a physical file in as 400 which is also called as pf so it relates to your sql table where you have rows and columns here in as 400 we call them fields and records okay so a record is a field i mean a record is a row and a field is a column so what are the different ways to create a physical file well the most basic way is through an sql query where you would just execute an sql query let's say you can execute create table table name like a normal sql query to create a table same query will run on as 400 and it will create a physical file but a more traditional way which is still being used on a lot of systems is and the original natural way to do it on AS400 is through a DDS. So what is a DDS? A data description specification. It describes the field names. It describes the structure of a file in a source code style file. In source physical file, two DDSs are so let us look at an example. Let us create a simple specification or a physical file specification. So we'll head over to our AS400 system. We'll log in. So we have been using the free up 400. So we need to navigate to QDDSSRC in your personal library. If it does not exist, do create it. We are not going to refer to any guide or we are not going to refer to any predefined tutorial anywhere. We'll just use the AS400's internal F4 and F1 keys, which give you prompts and it helps you to input the data yourself. So what we will do is we will create a new physical file. So to create a new physical file, you need to first create a DDS or data specification data description specification so let us create that so you can use the f6 key to create a new member in qddssrc so you have to name this as the name of the physical file you want so i want to name my physical file so let's say i'm creating a physical file called uh, companies or company so company is going to be the name of my physical file type you can keep as same and description you can write apf to store in for info about list of companies in nyc so we are going to store a list of so we are creating this sql table or a physical file to store the list of companies enter so we get a blank source so what you can do is straight away you can press f4 when you press f4 you will get a prompt at the bottom part the prompt will give you different inputs which are available so you have name type name reference length data type decimal positions use and functions so all the fields are not mandatory it will tell you what is mandatory as well so if you press f1 on each of them it will give you detailed information on what it is so it says that you have to leave it blank if you are declaring a field if you are declaring a record format you have to type r if you are declaring a key field which is a primary key you have to type in k okay so what we need to do is we need to first specify the way in which the keys are going to get used so this is as per the traditional way of doing it so first what is specified is the unique or leaf 4 or fee 4 
method of accessing the records of the file so when the file will be read by a program or by sql select star from which record should come first which record should come second so the ordering of the data in the physical file and whether the key fields or the primary fields are going to be unique or not that will be decided by this so if you do f1 on functions you will see a lot of different keywords are possible so it is a normal way to define either fcfo p4 lifo or unique so these are the valid values for that type of access method so we are going to use unique because we want only one company we do not one company per row we do not want the company we do not want same id of the company being repeated twice or the same new york stock exchange symbol to be repeated twice so we'll type in unique so it came under its required place under functions after that is done what it is normally suggested to do is you define the name of the record format now what is a record form format record format is the way in which or the name or the name given to all the records which are defined on the source physical file or the physical file so to define the record format what we can do is to press f4 again to f1 so we are going to define the record format so we are going to type in r and we are going to type in the name of the record format so it is usually the same as the name of the physical file so name of the record format is company then we will start by declaring the fields or the column names of the physical file so if you press f1 it says you have to leave blank if you want to declare a field name we want to declare a field name we'll write the name of the field so first field we will write is nyse id which is new york stock exchange id which is a unique ticker for every single stock on the new york stock exchange so this is going to be our primary key as well then we will see what else we need to input so we do not need this we need length yes we need length so what would be the length of a ticker i will give 10 what will be the data type so data type can be numeric and numeric is again divided into packed and zoned so packed and zoned differs in the way in which data is stored but we'll just select a random packed decimal we do not need to care about how the data will be stored for now decimal positions will not be allowed in numeric value so b means both input and output we're going to leave it blank and functions if you want to specify an alias name or if you want to specify a different ccs id or other options are also available to use the fields in a different way so we'll just keep it blank for now so this is the first field that we have defined and it has come at the proper position so the field name the length of the field and the data type let's describe some more fields so we'll do f4 again we'll leave it blank because it is a field name of the field is going to be company name so we can write in a better way we'll just write name so length of the company name is going to be 40 characters data type is again uh, alphanumeric data type so alphanumeric data type will be denoted by a which is character data decimal places are not possible and we'll keep functions as blank we'll define a few more fields so after name what are the fields would be required for company data we can have uh, a simple alphanumeric field such as um, category so the company belongs to which category or a better word for category would be domain or the industry industry of which it belongs to so if it is a petroleum industry or pharma industry pharmaceutical industry or which industry it belongs to so again it will be an alphanumeric data of length 10. so the id the name the industry 
we can specify one more field for now which can be the stock price we'll just name it as price its length is going to be pi and uh, data type is going to be it actually requires a decimal data but to keep it simple what we can do is we can do define floating point data let us try to define floating point data decimal places we want up to two cents so two and enter so value in indicated numeric field not allowed let's say so, so let's type two over here so with numeric fields you need to be careful and type the number at the end right aligned to the field so when i input two for the first version it gave me an error so i placed at the last position and then it allowed me to do it okay so we have finished declaring all the fields that would be required in our physical file now what we need is key fields so we are going to have only one key field that is nyse id we can also have name along with it but for the sake of simplicity let's only keep nyc id as the key field so we'll have to separately declare it so k stands for key field name so k and the name of the key field is nyc id and enter so it says that nyc id is a unique unique we have mentioned for the entire file but this unique applies to this key field so this key field is only only unique values are allowed in it so you will not be able to put duplicate values so we have now completed with a simple physical file structure let us now save it so it says member added so you can see that a new member has been added into qddssrc the member's name is company and it is type is a physical file if you still do work obj uh, company you will not see that there is no object there is no object because it is not compiled you can compile it with 14 option so when you do 14 option at the top it says it describes which command it is going to execute so it is going to execute crtpf or create physical file that is what we want now we are going to compile the physical file so we have created a simple dds now we are going to compile it so after compilation the object will be created at the same location in our library we can keep rest of the field same for now and let's just press enter so there were no errors and it said that the file company is created in my library now if i do work obj company it should show me that company object exists it is a type of file star file and the attribute is a physical file so we have created a physical file now let us execute sql and let us run it so i just executed select star from the file name library name slash file name and it shows you that it has created these columns nyc id name industry and price and these columns are created and the file can be seen with no records let's insert some records in it there are multiple ways to insert records i'm going to do it with the sql way for now so insert into file name you can press f4 so in as per you can press f1 and f4 almost everywhere those will help you get out of any most of the situations so if you press f4 it gives you this entry to select some parameters for the insert query and you press enter it is now asking me for the values so if i press f1 on it it explains me how to input these values where there are alphanumeric values you should put an apostrophe or quotes on both sides for numeric and decimal types we do not need a decimal but a separator is required for floating point so let's specify a nyc id of 556 name of the company can be google or alphabet industry is going to be internet software 
I think the length is only 10 so it will not fit the entire thing let's see how much it fits and the price is going to be 56.78 a random price we need ports on both sides if it is longer it should truncate and when it says it is not valid for operation you can always do with nc or with no commitment control so it has given me an error and it says value for column of variable industry is too long so this industry is of 10 length so let us shorten it and insert again it says one record inserted let's look at the output of select chart from you can see that one record is inserted so this price appears to be wrong to me so i had put in a price of 56.78 so what it is showing me 56 78 Five six seven comma eighty e so e would probably mean into ten raised to one so it is 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 this minus one I'm not sure so if I think the CCSID for this session is said to be that of Germany so in Germany a dot is represented by a comma. And if you do uh, 10 raised to minus 1 on this decimal, it is going to be 56.78. Yeah, so this is correct. Only the representation is a little bit different. So let us ignore that for now. Let us not go into that. We will now demonstrate the uniqueness of the physical file. We have already inserted a row with E field and YSE ID of 556. Let us try that again. Let's try to insert Microsoft corporation with the same nyc id of 556 and see what happens industry will give software this time and share price we will change see so it gave me an error duplicate key value specified you can press f1 on it and it will tell you a detailed description of what is the problem so the problem is that a unique constraint is there for this physical file and the unique constraint is on this key which is nyse id so if we just change it to 557 it will allow us to insert a record now if i do select star from it shows that there are two records let us insert one more record Yeah, so I've given a larger value. Yeah, so for floating point also, we had defined a length of pi with two decimals. So pi is a total of this with dot. So one, two, three, four, and five with two decimal places. Now let's look at the file contents. So now we have three records in the physical file, Alphabet Holdings, Microsoft, and NVIDIA. And we have our data stored in the relational format of a physical file on AS400. So that was our goal for today. How to create a physical file with a DDS. We have created a simple DDS with a unique constraint. There are other constraints available, FIFO, LIFO, and so on. And there are a lot of other things that can be done with the DDS of a physical file, some of which we will cover in upcoming videos. If you do like these videos, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Until then, bye bye.